alleged hidden slurry on any day. What do we need to do beforehand? I'm going to go through a word. So think of the name Eva, E-V-A. So exactly as this girl said, you need to clear out children. So that's evacuate. You need to clear out children. You need to clear out all people. That's called a, a rising plate meter or a grass meter. And what it does, and, and it's an important tool that we use, it measures how much grass there is in a field. And you know, when we make good quality silage, you know, it nearly is as good a feed value uh, as the grass out in the field. Half the cows here are from the dairy industry and the other half are from the beef industry. And half of those again are high in milk and fertility and the other half are low in milk and fertility. So we're just getting all the data we can off that and feeding that back into ICBF and that naturally feeds on to the farmers. There's a lot of talk about them at the minute, I suppose pesticides being contained in our water and things like that. So we'll be trying to show our students best practice to avoid contamination and things like that. Predominant um, audience that we have in Chagask are for our level five and level six courses. So we offer courses agriculture, horticulture, equine and forestry. So there's a very, very broad offer of courses there for the land-based sector. This is our general ration, in this ration, has 86% barley and then you need a little bit of protein in it you know all these lads going to the gym they need to get big so for that reason then protein in it we add soya soya is your kind of feed and green DNA. that grew here this grey bacteria if you see it towards the light you can see there that there are some areas uh, around the colonies that are actually a little more yellowish. That's because this bacteria produces hemolysis. So if we want to, if the vet wanted to see what was causing the pneumonia, if we wanted to know what bacteria and viruses are causing the pneumonia, um, they could take a nasal swab. So the vet would take a nasal swab into the nose of the calf and um, send it to the lab to check what bacteria and viruses are present. And physiological variables then would be like in their blood. So we'll be looking at stress hormones and things like that. So we will be taking blood samples every few weeks as well. Measuring the horn bud size of the calves, this is the first time that someone is doing that. And I want to see if we this bud a calf with a smaller horn bud, horn bud, we can reduce the stress because the wound will be smaller. The appropriate algorithms where they can uh, assign a value to the animal on the basis of their DNA sequence and that's what you use then for predicting. So um, it's about 27 euros per animal which is really really good. With this tiny little machine here uh, we can probably sequence a human genome for about $500 in 48 hours uh, and I can just do that on my own.